For Jill Connor Brown and Randall Wallace, we talk every single day. If a day I don't talk to Jill, it's a day that doesn't go right. It's an uncommon friendship between a Mississippi queen who gave rise to a sisterhood that spread around the world and a Hollywood writer-director who gave voice to a freedom fighter who tried to stop a king. I'm going to pick a fight. Well, the Braveheart screenwriter and the Sweet Potato Queen met a decade ago at a joint book signing. On this day at Batson Children's Hospital, they helped present a nearly $100,000 check from Fonder and Renaissance Foundation to Friends of Children's Hospital. Included in that donation is a van for patients suffering serious or chronic illnesses. The van means many things to palliative care. Um, it is a terrific way to get the children out, out of the hospital and enable them to um, get out into the community and live a life. Many people uh, associate, it, um, I think, palliative care with terms such as incurable or terminal. But we're, we're really moving way past that. And what we're looking at is ways to uh, sustain hope and, and find meaning and ultimately to create legacy. I did start working on a book called Living with a Brave Heart and uh, I thought about what that means and um, I don't know any finer example than we have here and here. Thank you. Kevin. The thing for me is how do you live with a brave heart and um, and you know everybody's talking like this is the gift we're giving them but they are the gift to us they show us what it is to live with a brave heart these nurses these doctors the parents they're the ones that tell us what it really is and tell us how to live wonderful the Fonder and Renaissance Foundation donation was raised during the 2014 Zippity Doodah weekend in March. The annual event draws thousands to Jackson, Mississippi's Fonder and neighborhood, including sweet potato queens from around the world and at least one Hollywood mainstay. Any similarities between this and Brave Heart? <laughs> A crazy crowd. Wallace, also the writer and director of the breakout film Heaven is for Real, is more committed than ever to the state's sick and injured kids. His new foundation, Brave Hearts for Batson, will help raise money and support for Mississippi's only Children's Hospital. So with uh, the impending anniversary of Braveheart and... Um, the 20th anniversary of Braveheart in, in 2015. Uh, a new book, a re-release of the movie, and this 2015 parade, uh, Finder's Parade that's presented by Finder Renaissance will, uh, that whole weekend will be Brave Hearts for Batson. And um, we're very excited about that. Randy will, be, Randy will be our grand marshal, is what he's been, you know, vying for since he started coming. Ten years after they first met, this remarkable friendship, strengthened by a common cause, leads only to one question. All right, the most important question I've got. Will you write, direct, or write and direct the Jill Connor Brown biopic? <laughs> well, as I told her late, uh, earlier today that my mouth opens and her words come out, so that would probably be quite appropriate. I, yeah, know, yeah, look for it. I could Coming put my soon. name on his author, but it would be Coming Jill's soon. words. You just got to shoot it in Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. Count us in. For Newsocracy, I'm Jim Albritt reporting.